Well, the year's done, and uh, I got one build done. This took me most of the week. Uh, very interesting design, and uh, very strange design. <laughs> and I can see why it was an absolute failure when it came to, to racing, but it's the Avanti. So I have the Avanti Black Edition here. Don't have the body on it. We're going to take a look at this car. A little bit of detail. I'm sure many of you have heard of the Avanti and if you look around on YouTube there will be a lot of videos on it. So I just want to show show, show you mine, show mine off and uh, we'll take it outside and we'll run it. This is not going to be as they say a shelf queen. I don't actually have any shelf queens. I do have a few that I've only run once and I don't know if that makes them a shelf queen or just something I never got around to running again. Um, there are a few around here I ran once. Um, but we're gonna run this and probably run it more than once. So here is my car. I have built it with the uh, stock wheels. They're pink. Didn't really have much to match on that. Um, very interesting design. Um, not at least of which is all this front uh, suspension nonsense. Um, completely overbuilt. Big heavy steel rods. Uh, these aluminum rod ends. Just insane. One interesting thing is, if you get a hit, these will actually bend backwards. I don't want to do that, but I don't want to weaken up this plastic. But these will actually push back like a Schumacher. I think Schumacher did that. Um, so this came out in 89 um, or 88. It's a very weird uh, car. Now, this is the black edition. And so what's different? A lot of people wonder what's different between the black edition and the normal. Well, these, these kind of semi-ugly wheels. Um, the other thing is, is the steering rack up front is different. So the other one has a little rod in here. So a different steering rack. Um, and it has ball diffs front and back. Whereas the stock Avante has uh, a ball gear up here. So this is ball diff front and back. So the stock one has a center one. Um, also, this has a one-way. So I guess my one-way is a little bit tight. But it has a one-way in it. Um, so that's one option. You can build it without the one-way. You can build it with a, a center lock. Um, but that's one option. So that's really the difference between the black and the stock 2011 Avante. Um, now these all come in carbon fiber chassis. Of course the originals were um, fiberglass, FRP. Um, so building this car, it took, it's a lot more work than other cars. There's so many uh, more pieces. Um, there, and there were a lot of extra pieces. Um, I, had a, I had an extra ball bearing. Uh, I have extra uh, eclipse. I have extra like three sets of spacers. I don't know where they're supposed to go. I didn't find a place I needed all those spacers. Um, so lots of little odds and ends are left over in this kit. I don't know if that's just because a lot of parts fall off um, or they want it to um, just be nice and give you spares. So here's the undercarriage. It is covered with this Lexan piece. Um, which is done in the Lame Flake. I don't know if that shows up on camera. It looks really cool. Um, the same as the body. So I haven't put the body on yet. What I've done inside, um, well, as I built it, one thing I did was red Loctite, Tamiya red thread lock on everything. 
So everything is got Tamiya Red Threadlock. Sometimes you can see, sometimes you can see a little a little bit of it here and there. Um, so everything is absolutely locked together. Um, so what I've done for electronics is I have a just stock, uh, I believe it's the G3, Generation 3, 13.5 um, turn brushless. And that's new. That's a new one that came out. Um, and we have a Hobbywing XR10 um, Pro. Pro Spec, stock Pro Spec. Uh, this is 80 watt. It's nice and small. It's the same thing I put in my um, Optima Mid. So that's what I'm running for electronics. I have an OMG Pro Servo in there. Um, it's really noisy. I might switch it out. I don't know why it's so noisy. I've used them in a couple builds now. Um, and we're running, we got our lithium battery pack in there. We're running LiPo, LiPo battery. Um, so as far as building, I can see why everyone wants to build one. And I can also see why this platform was a massive failure, especially like the egress might be nicer with the plastic pieces rather than all this metal, might make it lighter up front. Um, completely over-engineered. I don't know what they were thinking. If you look at real cars, you'll never see front end set up like this. Swing arm is so much simpler and easier to build and easier to replace <laughs> and lighter. So I don't know what they were thinking. Um, building this arm with several extra parts in it. Um, so let's see, Avandi, I haven't driven it yet. I want to throw the body on and we'll take a look at it with the body. So here we go. We get the body on. Um, it is a beautiful looking car. Um, it definitely looks like a, a, a spaceship and I must say having this undercarriage plate under under chassis body. <laughs> I don't know what to call that. Having this on here does make it look beautiful from side on. You keep the same color. I was going to do it in pink originally. I'm glad I didn't. It's going to do the same color as the wheels, but I'm glad I didn't. That really looks nice. Now, I've done some different things. I've made a blue, a blue um, canopy. I've done that in blue. I think it actually looks great for a black edition. Um, I didn't put all those big gray stickers on, mainly because I didn't want to cover up this paint. I love this paint and I thought gray stickers bubbling out probably in here as well um, would take take some looks away from it. So I cut the fives out. I cut the Avanti off the Avanti Black Beauty or something they used to write down here. Put them up top. So a few different sticker arrangements. Um, but all in all, it is a beautiful car. So we have it all ready to go. Now I haven't glued the tires. The tires are very tight fitting. Um, but we'll see what happens. So that's my my last build of 2022. Um, definitely something I always wanted to build. Now these are quite expensive. Um, I think you, if you're a serious racer, these are way more than a nice racing buggy. So you don't really want that. Um, if you're a collector, I can see why people that like to build um, buy this because it's a very interesting and unique building experience. Um, now I've looked online, I've seen them for 600 and 800 US dollars. That's a bit ridiculous. I think I paid 270 for it. So I got the Japanese price. That's all they cost in Japan. And in my opinion, that's all you probably should be um, paying for them wherever you are. Um, but quite a nice build. Now I said I would compare it to the Optima Mid, so let's take a look. And the reason I want to look at the Optima Mid, the Optima Mid came out like a year before, um, a year before this did. So that was one of the competition um, vehicles that Tamiya was competing with, with their Avanti. So here's my Optima Mid. It is, when I, when I build it, I love building this one as well. I think this is an amazing car. I get different wheels on it. Um, I think this is an amazing car. Um, I love building it. You can look underneath. It's got this very narrow chassis. It does have the two plate design. It's also running a, a, a 13.5, only it's uh, one of those really nice uh, V motors. 
from Hobbywing, um, and it's running the same ESC. Now, I built this, and I built a lot of modern cars. There is a lot more similar between this older car. It's a year older, year or two older than the Avante. There's a lot more similarities between how this one's built, um, the parts to go together, the fact that you got normal arms up front, um, and a modern car than there is with this one. This one is a total oddball. It's actually, so I got the battery in it, but it actually feels a bit heavier too. So this is actually quite a heavy, heavy car. This one feels even heavier. As far as the size goes, um, you can see the wheelbase, they're basically the exact same wheelbase. So they're both about the same length. The Optima Mid is an extremely um, agile car, very fun to drive. Um, very capable, a very capable vehicle. I like how it's also square. Everything is square on it when we compare it to this rocket ship that is the Avante where everything is rounded. Um, I'm sure they, they thought this one had better aerodynamics, but I don't think it really matters at this scale. I think this one actually, I think the Optima Mid is actually a nicer, a nicer car. Um, now I paid more for the Optima Mid than I did for the Avante. So that's something interesting. So I spent a few, a few dollars more on it. Um, but yeah, so I've had this out. I run this a couple times. So it's not one of my semi shelf Queens. It only get run once. This one has been run, uh, twice. Um, so we're not going to take it out today. We're going to put it back on the shelf. We'll take out this one and I'll try to remember how this one works. Um, this one worked very well. So let's see. Let's see our last build of 2022, the 2011 style Avante Black Special, which will be re-released again this year. So if you really want one, there should be more coming and don't pay 600 or 800 or whatever, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars for it. It's actually not worth it. Um, I'm gonna take it out and we're gonna drive it. We're gonna try not to break it. And more importantly, we're gonna try not to lose any parts. So everything should stick on this. It is put together quite well. Oh, let's turn it on. Let's listen to it. All right, let's uh, power it on and let's take a listen actually. Um, as I said that the uh, the servo, the servo is quite noisy. So let's take a listen to that. So it's a good servo. It's quite quick, but here it's a bit noisy. All right, let's listen to the drivetrain on this. So it is a little bit noisy in the drivetrain, but I think it sounds good. So it's ready to go. Let's uh, take it aside. Let's try not to break it. Let's try not to lose any parts on the ground because that's apparently what you do with an Avante. You drive it and then you pick up all the parts you dropped. Um, I think this should be pretty good because I have put that thread lock, red thread lock on everything. Um, so we're gonna take it, we'll drive it. Um, Try taking some dirt with these big tires, some grass. I think it's gonna be terrible on anything hard, but we'll take it on something hard as well. And hopefully the wheels don't come off. I mean, the uh, tires, because I haven't glued them. They don't seem to stretch very much, so I think it'll be okay. Um, one thing I'd like to do with this car, perhaps in the future, is change the color of the wheels. I don't know why they went with pink. Um, I don't see what that, they look so much better if they were red, like the same red as on, on here. Um, maybe that's something I'll do. Maybe I'll paint them. Um, all right, guys, let's take it outside and run it.
wrong with this? It's like it's front wheel drive. Maybe that's why it's a, it's a shelf queen. If you drive it, it breaks. Maybe. Well, I guess we'll make a short video then. I don't, uh, I don't want to keep driving it. It sounds like, I think the rear diff is, is done. I have to take it apart to, uh, see inside what's going on. But I've, I've taken out ball diffs before. It doesn't feel too bad. But I honestly, I don't like ball diffs. I know they use them in racing. I don't really like them. I prefer gear diffs. I've destroyed so many ball diffs. Well, that was a little bit of a short drive. Um, I think we got about 20 minutes runtime on this. So, brand new Avante, black special edition, 20 minutes run in, 13.5 inch motor. Um, I wonder what we're wrong. So, you probably saw in the video, hopefully you watched the whole thing, the back wheels don't seem to be getting much drive and I'm wondering what's wrong. So first, we're gonna take it apart and look at the diff. This has ball diff, and I don't know why they, I, I really not a big fan of ball diff. My DF-03, I must have taken five diffs out of it. Um, I prefer gears, and I can put oil and stuff in them. I don't know why they go with ball diffs. Uh, it seems that race buggies often do. Um, but we're gonna take it apart, we're gonna pull the bottom off, and we're gonna see what we see in there, and if not, if that doesn't help us see what's wrong, we're gonna, pull the top off and see what we can see in there. So let's take a look and uh, see what's going on with this brand new, kind of expensive uh, Avanti. Let's take a look. Seems all right, um, but I guess we gotta pull it apart to make sure. I'm trying not to lose any balls out of this. Well, it's fairly loose.
so inside that's showing up this side appears to be spinning around you see a bunch of grooves this side appears to be stuck is in not spinning around Hmm. Hmm. Well, it doesn't appear to be broken. I thought this would be melted so it's not melted but it does appear one side turns and the other side doesn't which is totally odd oh well let's put that back together before we lose parts So, it spins correctly. The opposite. Now, it's really hard to tell how tight these should be. The manual just says tight until it doesn't move anymore. Well, that's fairly tight. Well, that doesn't appear to be the problem. So we'll put this back together. all apart um, as you saw um, <laughs> I remember watching the uh, Yvonne uh, propaganda video advertising and they're like oh it's so easy for gear changes um, so you just saw I took this back apart it is not easy for gear changes it is kind of complicated as I guess you would expect um, so nothing appears to be wrong. Um, the ball diff seems to be okay. I made it a bit tighter than before. All right, so we got the uh, 
rear diff figured out. I got the rear diff figured out, so we'll give it another run and see how it works with a, a rear diff that works. The back one should work now. Kind of. Oh yeah, much better. <laughs> You have to jump out of the way? <laughs> oh, it's nice. <laughs> Battle scores.
Film. Ja. All right, so we uh, we did it. We're successful. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, hope you like my uh, version of the Avante here. I don't think we have any dog shit on it. We got some sand on it, which is nice. A little bit of damage. A few scrapes there. A scrape on my wing. I think that's because uh, it bent it and the paint came off. We cracked the wing there, cracked it there. I don't think this wing will last a long time. Um, awesome little car. It works better than I thought it would. Um, it is quick. I'm going to put it up against the uh, Optima Mid. I think this is actually a quicker build than the Optima Mid. I think this could win in a race. So, I'm kind of excited about that. We'll do that in an upcoming video. Well, that's all for 2022. Today is actually... Yes. Today is actually 2023, um, but this is my last build of 2022. So, have a good one, guys. 2023 looks like a great year. Catch you next time.